The opportunity for Heard's team to argue that she has a constitutional right to speak her mind about abuse was almost entirely lost in the made-for-tabloid mudslinging. Heard's team announced on August 15, 2022, that she had retained attorneys David L. Axelrod and J. Ward Brown, of Ballard Spar, to help her appeal. Axelrod and Brown were on the legal team that helped the New York Times best Sarah Palin in her 2017 defamation lawsuit against the paper. As Deadline accurately points out, the makeup of the new defense team makes it apparent that Heard's appeal will focus on the First Amendment aspect of her legal fracas with Depp. Vulture spoke with several veteran attorneys about the next phase of Heard's case and whether she has any chance of a successful appeal. The Heard trial team failed to extensively go into the First Amendment issues, Davis said, we will never know whether it could have impacted First Amendment rights for victims and accusers. Although they could have explored free speech, Depp's attorneys successfully framed proceedings as a defamation case about the veracity of allegations, and a jury determined that Heard knew they were incorrect when she made them. The success by Depp on the defamation legal standard swallowed up a successful First Amendment claim by Heard, in my opinion, Davis said. She didn't see this as a death knell for free speech, however. This is good news for free speech advocates, in my opinion, because this case is distinguishable from other squarely First Amendment cases. While Heard is using her resources to prepare for a case that experts find to be an uphill battle, Depp recently settled an assault lawsuit and is accused of stealing lyrics from a deceased folk poet. Oh, and he's directing his first movie.